is a very smart teenager from Grand Blank, attends Harvard University, and is poised to be on Jeopardy for the second time next year. Answer, Shreya Yarlagata. She's one of 27 former teen contestants chosen for Jeopardy's high school reunion tournament, and she joins us now to talk about it. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. So I take it you are joining us right from Harvard. Yes, yeah, right outside my dorm room. <laughs> so tell me about mm -hmm. your first time on Jeopardy. How was that and meeting <laughs> Alex Trebek? Oh my gosh, it was an incredible experience. You know, I've been watching Jeopardy since I was very young. And so to have the opportunity to actually be there, meet the man himself and to um, meet a bunch of really amazing other students as well. It was just an absolute dream come true. What is it that you like about shows like Jeopardy? And, and how do you prepare for something like this? Yeah, so um, I guess my entire life, I've always been a bit of a trivia nerd. Um, I, you know, grew up playing like Brain Quest and like um, did Quiz Bowl all throughout middle school and high school. And um, I think just enjoying playing games like that is a lot of how I prepared for Jeopardy. Um, you know, you can study, there's like lists of facts you can memorize, but honestly, like the best way that I've found to study is to just um, try and take in as much information from every day life as possible. Oh, absolutely. Who do you, who do you credit though, if you had to name one person, is it anyone from high school or, or in Grand Blank who really was instrumental in helping you to sort of become the young lady that you are today? <laughs> um, yeah, so I think like in general, I would have to say my parents, especially my mom, um, they basically since I was very young have always been really supportive of getting whatever resources that I would need to support my interests in really any subject. Um, and I think that has uh, helped and all come together to be um, really instrumental in Jeopardy, but I also have to do I do also have to give a shout out to my uh, high school quiz bowl coach, uh, Miss Kenny. I, uh, she uh, was really instrumental in my time in quiz bowl in high school and um, gave me a lot of resources to help study the first time around. And so I'm um, really grateful to have her support and the support of the entire Graham Blank quiz bowl community too. As far as this competition, is there anything that's different about it? This is a, a, a reunion of other teenagers like yourself. Uh, what can we expect from it? Yeah, so I think that um, this time around, I think the vibe is a little bit different because I know the competitors that I'm up against very well. Like, um, you know, last time around, it was a little bit nerve wracking um, to not only be having this brand new experience in terms of playing the game, live but also doing it with a bunch of people that i'd never met before mm -hmm. um but now i'm really glad to say that there are some of my closest friends you know we still um have meetings we um talk all the time actually a couple of weeks ago was um our big harvard yale game here and i got to meet up with some other jeopardy teams who are uh Harvard students and yale students and that was really exciting and so I think what'll be different is that we will have a lot more camaraderie and the dynamics between us will be um, a lot more fun. Okay, is there anything that you would like to say to our viewers out there, to this entire community, uh, that where you're from and of course, who is supporting you? Yeah, um, just thank you so, so much for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it and I, look forward to hopefully representing you all well. I'm sure you will do just that. Shreya, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right, and we will leave it there. The Jeopardy! tournament is set to air from February 20th to March 9th in 2023, right here on TV5. And if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.